Hey everyone, welcome to EV's Gallery. So, here's a report from Car News China that says Avatar's Lumin Corn EV is ready to take on Wheeling Mini EV. Changin Lumin Corn is a small EV under Avatar technology. Its images and specs have been revealed by Chinese NIIT recently. We also have managed to find interior spy shots of this tiny vehicle. So let's get acquainted with the Changin Lumin Corn. According to the documents, Lumin is a brand under Avatar Technology. Avatar Technology itself is a JV between Chang'an and CATL. Huawei is also involved in Avatar project but hasn't got any shares. So Lumen also may be a joint project between Chang'an, New Energy, CATL, and Huawei. Finally, the new brand may also be involved in producing tires for car and bicycles, according to the documents. Chinese media speculate that Lumin is a brand, but it isn't sure for now. It can become a sub-brand or a line. Chang'an itself hasn't announced Lumin's position on the market yet. What is Chang'an Lumin Corn? Previously, the Chang'an Lumin Corn was known as the A158. It is based on Chang'an's EPAO platform. Designed for hatchbacks and city cars. The name Corn translates from Chinese New Me. The Lumin Corn is a two door EV with four seats. It has a pleasing look with a rounded shape, circular LED lights, and pop out door handles. Standard door handles are also available. The dimensions of the Lumin Corn are 3,270, 1,700, 1,545 millimeter with a wheelbase of 1,980 millimeter. So it is a small car that also has small 165 or 70 R14 wheels. The Lumen Corn has decent approach and departure angles of 21 and 28 degrees thanks to its small bumpers. The Lumen Corn has two versions with different power outputs. The first one got an output of 30 kilowatt and the second one generates a power of 35 kilowatt. The Lumen Corn with more horses weighs 945 kg to 105 kg heavier than the version with a less powerful motor. Another difference between the two versions is the battery. The Lumin Corn with 30 kW has the LFP battery supplied by Gaussian High Tech and the one with 35 kW got the LFP battery from CATL. According to Chinese media, there will be two versions of the Lumin with 150 km and 210 km range. These versions both have a top speed limited to 101 km per hour. According to NIIT, you can get rid of a lot of stuff here to make this car cheaper. There is a version without running lights, a rear view camera, wheel caps, etc. So this car will probably play in an extensive segment. Shangyan has also shared some official images of Lumen Corn. It has got various colors. Some have lovely names like fog white or light blue, but others are just quirky like magpie gray or wheat yellow. Now comes the Shangyun Lumin interior. There are some spy shots of the Shangyun Lumin Corn's interior, but a lot of them are of bad quality. Car News China says that we were lucky to find some screenshots from an online translation via the TikTok app where some guy has shown the Lumin Corn's interior. We can see the three spoke steering wheel with a flat bottom in these shots. 
It is funny that a car with a top speed of 101 km per hour got that sporty looking wheel. There is looming lettering on the steering. Behind the wheel, we can see a digital dashboard. It says that Lumen Coin can run up to 186 km with a 93% battery charge. The center tunnel is tiny and has a rotary gear shifter, window switches, etc. There are practical physical buttons for climate control on the center panel. As for the main screen, it also says Lumen and is pretty simple. There isn't any Chang'an badge inside it, so we can sum up that Lumin might be a detached brand. There is also an official video from the Chang'an brand. It, in it, we can see that the Lumin Corn center tunnel has a single cup holder. The second row of seats can be folded flat but the trunk itself is still small. The Shanghai Lumin Corn is quite large in comparison with the Willing Hongwan Mini EV. The Lumin Corn is 353mm longer, 207mm wider, and 76mm lower, but these two cars still play in the same city's cars segment. The same goes with other micro EVs like the Sherry QQ Ice Cream, Bojan Kiwi EV, etc. It seems like the Sherry EQ1 and is the closest rival to the Schengen Lumin Corn. The EQ1 has almost the same dimensions, two doors, and a 30 kilowatt electric motor. The Schengen Lumin Corn is a nice looking small EV that soon hits the Chinese market. It can become trendy among Chinese buyers, so that we will follow this car with great attention. Would you like to buy one of these cars? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.